despite it being a bumpy year, we've had some major leaps as an organization. But first, let's take a moment and just go back and see what our 10 years have looked like. So we set up ourselves as the hub for women in tech in Africa. Even out there, when you talk about women in tech, who comes to mind? Yes. I, is, should there be any other? No. There you go. We've trained and graduated 237 young women over the last 10 years. That excludes the class of 2021. We boast actually an overall placement rate of 85%. Like for all those 237, we have an 85% placement rate. And this one's, what was our target? We are getting there. We spread our wings across Kenya. So many counties I think you've heard as the girls were coming in. Drawing students from Nairobi, Turkana, our Turkana sister, Masobit, eh? Kajiado, Lamu. Every corner of this country has been impacted by this amazingness that is called high. We also opened our doors to our sisters from Rwanda. We did add Uganda last year, and this year we did add uh, uh, sisters from Rwanda. We grew and added uh, more students. We, we, we actually uh, have a, 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 a line that we say that we find talent where everyone else doesn't. We go fetch it from far. We go deep and find where we can't. And so this year we also went far and we found sisters from South Sudan and Sudan. And also this was our largest class that we've ever had. We grew from 50 students to 70 students. And so today we are proud that we are graduating 97% of the students that enrolled this year. You are joining the Codive Alumni Network. They did already, right? Uh, making us get to a number of 300, 305 graduates in the last 10 years. Your class has an 82% internship placement rate before graduation. So that 90 is possible in, in, in a few weeks, so yeah. We participated in a pitch competition that was attended and judged by industry experts made up of CTOs, heads of engineering, and tech leads from various startups in the tech ecosystem, Copo Copo, Twiga, and the rest. And for us, that was a more like a validation of the work that we're doing because we don't do this work for the sake of people going through school, is because we want them placed in the tech ecosystem. And so when we have the tech ecosystem coming for their pitches, it means they value our work and they value what the young women are bringing to the workplace. So for the year 2022, we are welcoming our largest class ever. I feel like that's all I say every year. Our largest class ever. We're expecting a hundred young women. We will also be piloting a new program called the Code Hive X. It's a program supporting the growth of alumni, the class of 2021 joining this now, to different roles and income brackets in the workforce. We are happy that they're getting jobs. But the only way we are going to make significant impact and change in the tech ecosystem, especially when it comes to the gender gap, is by having them taking up higher roles, taking up leadership positions in these companies. And the only way to do that, we know best, is to support them with that growth. So that's what we're going to be spending time with. We are going to be building additional facilities. As you've heard, we have 100 young women joining next year. And so finally, I'll leave you with a few words as you start your journey in this industry. And these are words of Susan Bojiski, the CEO of YouTube. Life doesn't always present you with the perfect opportunity at the perfect time. Opportunities come when you least expect them or when you're not ready for them. Rarely are opportunities presented to you in the perfect way, in a nice little box with a yellow bow on top. Opportunities, the good ones, they are messy, right? And confusing and hard to recognize. They are risky and they challenge you. So please grab all the opportunities that come your way. 